open house event and I found William over here on the cyber web stand. Now this is robotics, a robotic arm with Fanuc, but this is a slightly different industry that we're normally used to talking about. This is welding. So William, you're the expert. Talk me through what, try, he just said try to be, you are. Uh, talk me through what's happening here. Uh, so the first one we're looking at, it's, tra it's just tracking a V-groove. Uh, we search it with a laser and then we track it. The reason why we're using a laser is the specific customer don't know where their part starts and don't know where the part finishes. So the laser finds it and tracks it and welds it. Uh, the second one is similar, but we're doing it with a lap joint. And uh, the main reason why we're advertising that is the reflections we're getting from the laser is getting covered. Uh, usually with older lasers, the reflections would be a problem. You're getting reflections from the laser, it's a big problem. But for that one, it's showing a shiny surface and we're still getting what we need. And you've got a little bit of a curve here. I don't know if we can bring the camera around right, just yeah. really, really slightly. But here, it's actually following a curve on a line. That's right, so yeah. what's different about this? Because, you know, a human can do this. So what's the benefit of using a robotic arm? So what I've told the robot to do there is to just to go from two points over the part. Then the laser kicks in and says, hang on, there's a lap joint here and I want to follow that. So I've taught two points in a straight line, but that laser takes over and makes it curved basically. And uh, if there's any inaccuracies in the part and that why it will pick up to it and just follow the seam. So William, we're talking about welding. You know, you've got a skill here. There are people out here that are welders. They've been welding for years. You're not trying to take over their positions, but what what is the benefit of going for robotics in the world of welding? Well, the problem is, I've said it before to other people is a human brain is very powerful so we can't do everything a human can do we can only try and cover any problems they hit so uh, the issue is the consistency the timing we can be speed speed with the robot and also I say the wire so costings as well a robot will do it more efficiently so a robot would use less material is that correct less wire and uh, and say less power as well and less time which is all big in factories and things like that. Yeah, and something William has also tell me, just to finish off, it's quite interesting that some of your clients are there saying they don't want human intervention now. They right, want yeah. it strictly down to robotics, you know, to keep everything in tow. Is that correct? They want to see robotics. They want to see certificates. That the, the thing is with robotics, we can monitor it. We can get data back and give that to the customer. So instead of a human saying, oh, it took me 30 minutes to do this, a robot could give you the exact time, exact power and exact method it's done it and pass that on to their customer as well. Yeah, that's called quantifying automation, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we could be more efficient that way and, and see where they can be better. Wonderful, thank you, William. Cheers, no worries.